tonight we had a very special program in our oral history uh, lecture series. We had descendants of the contraband. These were people who were enslaved during the Civil War and escaped the plantations and the small farms and made their way, very dangerous trip to Fort Monroe in order to get freedom. They made the decision to do this. They went to Fort Monroe and General Benjamin F. Butler met with them. And he declared them contraband, meaning that they were not enslaved anymore, but they were not completely free. They did not have to go back to the plantations. Very soon thereafter, as many as 7,000 contrabands came to Fort Monroe, which they called Freedom's Fort. This exhibit hall that we're standing in is the Towards Freedom exhibit. We put this together to tell the story of these courageous people who came to Fort Monroe and to Hampton and established the settlements called contraband camps. In my words, the contrabands are fugitive um, slaves that uh, ran to the Union lines. Uh, and in particular, it, it's a little uh, separatist in that here in Hampton, uh, because the Union came in in great numbers because of Fort Monroe, uh, was uh, able to rot that decision under Benjamin Butler. And so that was early in the war, at the beginning of, of the war in 1861. The contraband decision by General Butler uh, allowed the uh, government Lincoln and his cabinet to enact uh, the Confiscation Act and uh, other acts that allowed the Union Army to confiscate slaves wherever it ran, wherever it marched throughout the South. I'm the daughter of Robert Lineley Brooks. This contraband of the Civil War who came to the Fort Monroe camp. Where, the, where President Lincoln was and people were set free once they reached that camp. Well, I was surprised to know that uh, after the great fire that the contraband really built Hampton again. And the very street that I lived on was named by the contraband. Did you hear about that men all gonna leave you? I hope that when we look in the print in the, in the Civil War, we see the monolithic term slave, our contraband, concerning the millions of African Americans that made up the population of America. And they come through this exhibit, I hope that they will see the people who made these courageous decisions to move from the farms into uh, close to the federal armies to Fort Monroe, much danger to themselves to claim their own freedom. And I'd like the audience to get a sense of what our ancestors went through, uh, even though they were slaves or former slaves. That did not deter them from taking a stand by what they thought was right for the future generation of Africans in America. When we learn and really look at our history, even though we were sort of shaded from that history because of the stigma of slavery, but we want our children to know that it was the resilience and the fortitude and the vision of those people who made it for us like we are today. <laughs>